think you all know what to do with blueberries, but I'm going to show you a recipe that you might not have thought about. But before we get to the dishes, let's go up to the farm. I'm here in Burlington, Washington, and I'm with Richard Sakuma, president of Sakuma Brothers Farms. And Richard, you're the largest berry farm in the state. Yes, I think I believe so. Now we might as well talk about blueberries because you grow a lot of different berries. You raspberries, and blueberries, and strawberries, and blackberries. blackberries. Yeah. But this year turned out to be a huge crop for you too, right? Yes, it's been. It turned out to be a pretty good year. Uh, the winter wasn't too bad, and the, and the ripening, the blossom time was really good, so we're, we're looking at a pretty good harvest. And then you also mentioned to me too earlier about uh, the different varieties. I always thought there was one variety of blueberry. I didn't realize there was a number of varieties. There's many varieties. We start with early blue. We go into Duke. That's one of our best uh, producers and our it's machine harvestable too. So oh. from there we go into blue crop, blue jay, uh, and on to Elliott's. And so we're producing and harvesting fruit, uh, blueberries from July through October. Wow, and you know, blueberries are getting a lot of good press lately because of its antioxidant value to right. it. Uh, they're really great for you, plus the versatility of the berry. You can do a lot of anything from desserts. Most people think desserts, but you can also do savory dishes with them as well. Right, yeah. and, and they're good frozen. I mean, you can bring these berries home, eat them fresh. If there's anything left over, throw them in the freezer and bring them out. They're like mini popsicles. Yeah. They're yeah. really good. Oh, yeah, they're wonderful. Like you said, then you get all your use out of them. As well. Right. Uh, how much exactly do you grow? I know you have like 500 some acres. Yeah, 550 plus acres. Um, this year, I think we're gonna we project to harvest about three point or three million pounds. I think. Wow, yeah. that's incredible. And it's something else you said earlier was the fact that blueberries are pretty new to the Northwest as far as uh, farming. Fairly new, yes. There's a lot of uh, plantings going in, so every year there's increases in volume. Those, when those plants, as they get larger every year, they'll be producing more, and there's going to be a lot of big blueberries in this area. Wow, that's good for in us consumers that way, you know, for sure. And then don't forget, you get to use them all year long as well. The great thing about blueberries is that you can use them in so many different ways, like a blueberry sundae or blueberry cheesecake, or how about a fancy little blueberry tart, or a great way to start off breakfast, a blueberry and yogurt shake, because they're high in antioxidants and fiber, and they're great for you. And of course, blueberries on your favorite cereal, and there's blueberry muffins, blueberry scones. One thing you may not have thought about is using blueberries in savory dishes, like in an Asian salad, add some blueberries to a chicken Asian salad, or even make a nice little sauce for barbecue pork and add some blueberries to that. It actually works with savory dishes too. Don't forget too, the blueberries freeze great, so you can eat these all year long. So enjoy your blueberries. <laughs>